Eight animals that can only be found in the Philippines. The Philippines is an archipelago of over 7,000 islands in the Western Pacific with numerous areas to explore in quest of wildlife. The Philippines is a biologist's dreamland with its land and seas brimming with innumerable indigenous species of fauna and plants. In fact, studies claim that it has the world's largest number of distinct species per unit area. After all, the majority of its flora, amphibians, reptiles, and birds can only be found in the Philippines. Let's take a look at seven of these amazing creatures. The Tammarao, Bubalus mindorisis. The Tammarao is a little water buffalo that can only be found on Mindoro. It has lustrous black hair, mild facial markings, is not sociable, and has shorter, V-shaped horns. And it's a little more taller than a kindergartner. But don't be fooled by its little size. This animal has a notoriously quick temper and will rush at intruders. The International Union for Conservation of Nature has classed it as severely endangered, with just 600 individuals remaining in the wild. Some hunters still value their meat, and illnesses transmitted by cattle and other livestock have devastated their species. The Philippine Eagle Pitecophaga jefferi The huge Philippine Eagle, sometimes known as the monkey-eating eagle, is an endangered species of eagle that is only found in the Philippines. It is also the world's largest eagle in terms of length and wing surface, with only stellar sea eagle and the harpy eagle being greater in terms of weight and size. It is around 90 centimeters long, brown above and white below, and has a crest of long, thin feathers. While these avians are difficult to discover in the wild, where just 400 adult couples exist, they can be seen in captivity. Locals trapping and shooting are among the reasons for the rescue, but deforestation is the most serious threat to the species. A single breeding couple requires a home range of 10,000 to 27,000 acres, as well as tall trees for nesting. At the same time, just 35% of the country's woods have been preserved. The Pilandok, Tragulus nigricans. The Philippine mouse deer, also known as Pilandok, is a tiny nocturnal ruminant found only on the islands of Balabac, Bagsok, and Ramos, southwest of Parawan. The Philippine mouse deer, contrary to its name, is a member of the Chevrotain family, not the deer family Sevridae. The male of its species lacks antlers, unlike a genuine deer. They defend themselves or battle for territory with their enormous, tusk-like canine teeth on the upper jaw. It measures 40 to 50 centimeters from head to tail base on average, and stands 18 centimeters tall at shoulder height. The Pilandok population has declined dramatically due to hunting. The flesh is regarded delectable and the skin is known to be used to manufacture leather. They are also sold illegally as part of the wildlife trade. However, habitat loss is the leading cause of their extinction. The Palawan Peacock Pheasant Polyplectrum emphonum A huge ground bird of Palawan with a crest and a rather long tail. This bird's tail bears robin egg blue patches that resemble eyes and assist to ward off predators. Males have a black body with blue wings, a gray, finely speckled back, and tail with blue peacock eyes, white markings on the face, and a red eye ring. Females, on the other hand, have brown plumage with a pale face and a crest as well as spotted tail feathers. This species feeds on seeds, insects, fruits, and slugs. Breeding couples are normally monogamous, with both parents assisting in the rearing of chicks. Male Palawan peacock pheasants attract females by spreading out their spotted tails in a courting display, reminiscent of a peacock. Their fast population fall is most likely driven by habitat destruction from mining, logging, uncontrolled hunting, and illegal trapping. The Mindoro Stripe-Faced Fruit Bat Styloctenium mindorensis The Mindoro Stripe-Faced Fruit Bat, often known as the Flying Fox, Fox, due to its fox-like visage, is a species of stripe-faced fruit bat that is native to Mindoro. 
It looks like a conventional fruit bat with modified forearms for flying, short hind legs, and huge ears for echolocation. These critters dwell in lowland woods as a colony, collecting in trees. They are nocturnal, meaning they hunt for food at night. They devour forestry fruits and play an important role in forest regeneration as pollinators and seed dispensers. While no population studies on their species have been conducted to yet, it has been proposed that they may be threatened by hunting and habitat loss owing to forest destruction. The bat, like other large pteropodidae on the island, is hunted for food by the natives. The Visayan Warty Pig Susucebifrons the Visayan warty pig is an endangered species found only in Cebu, Negros, Panay, Masbate, Guimaras, and Siquijor. The three pairs of fleshy face warts give this unusual pig its name. Its sharp, hooked tusks are also visible and may lacerate anyone it perceives to be a danger. Because there are so few Visayan warty pigs left in the wild, nothing is known about their behavior or features outside of captivity. Because of habitat degradation caused by commercial logging, slash and burn farming, and hunting, the Visayan warty pig is severely endangered. They are also pursued for food and by farmers who regard them as pests, since foraging may harm crops. The Isarog Striped Shrew Rat Crotomus Gonzalesi The Isarog Striped Shrew Rat, found only on Mount Isarog in Camarine Sur, is an earthworm-eating rodent that lives on damp highland and in mossy woods. Their snouts are long, their eyes are tiny, and their incisors are needle-like. They use their large front claws to dig through damp leaf litter and moss to find their prey, which is usually earthworms. Because of habitat degradation, this species of striped rat is considered critically endangered. The Philippine Tarsier Carlito Sirikta Philippine tarsiers may be found in tropical rainforests among tall grasses, shrubs, bamboo shoots, and tiny trees. They adore the forest canopy, hopping from limb to limb. Tarsiers seldom walk on four limbs. Instead, they have acquired exceptional jumping abilities. Their colors vary depending on where they live in the Philippines. Some of them have reddish-brown hair. The body size ranges from 85 to 160 millimeters, with weights ranging from 80 to 165 grams. They are around the size of a little child's hand. Their tail is 25 centimeters long and tufted at the end. Tarsiers have big, bat-like ears and round features. The region around their eyes is normally darker than the rest of their body, with no white markings on the face. The eyes are enormous, and their eyesight is razor sharp. Their eyes are the biggest in relation to their body size among animals. Tarsiers are extremely successful night hunters due to their exceptional hearing and vision. So that's the end of the video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and press the notification bell so you never miss out on our next videos. Until the next video, take care.